Welcome back to another exciting episode of Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Today we're going to give you guys an update on the chickens, the meat birds that we have, the Freedom Rangers. We told you guys we'd probably try to hit that at least once a week, but we got a little bit behind. We had to go to the Heirloom Expo, which was a great time. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch it. A um, lot of great information there, and we just really have a good time hanging out with the folks down at Baker Creek Seed Company. Yay! So don't forget, we're going to be at the Homesteaders of America Conference coming up in October in Virginia. 12th and 13th. We'll have the links down below for you. So if you want to get some tickets, come hang out with us. It'll be our last event uh, together this year. I'm going to backtrack a little bit and kind of tell you a story. So surely, this is our secret story. Our we secret weren't even going to tell you guys. And then we've been going back and forth about telling you guys. And we're like, man, we just got to be honest with them and tell them the truth. I mean, it's not a big deal, but we're going to tell you well, guys. Kind of but we were going to hold it back from you, just so you know. Just so you know. But, but we, we decided that we couldn't do it. Our, our integrity matters too much. So when we had gotten the meat birds, and we've been doing this for how many years? I mean, Six forever. years. We've been doing the meat birds forever. Same system. Never problem. Never There's problem. only one difference this year that came into the equation that has been different than all six years. And her name begins with an M. <laughs> So we have our the dog cage. I put them in a big dog cage, and then we have chicken wire um, all On around the, the bottom. Because you know the slats are open a little bit little wide. Those little babies can come Those right out. Those little chicks are too small. Yeah. They slide right out. I mean, a teeny little hole like this, they will slide right out. So of. you guys saw we had a lot of stuff around the out, you know, the it, it, cage itself around the bottom part. They're not going to get up high and go out, but around the bottom part, it was a. We really wanted to focus on that area. And then you might have saw, like, when we shut the cage, uh, we had a piece of board across the front. I had just put that there temporarily, you know, because and I had wedged it in there good where it wasn't even moving because I was going to put some wire on it the next morning. So the chickens were all settled in, you know, we had, um, I had to put the board in front of the door, so, you know, I'd go in and out, but it was wedged in really good, and Doug and I had to run a couple errands, and we were gone just a few hours. That was the next day. It was the next day. And I go in to check on the chicks again, and Doug hears me, just <laughs> like, ah! They were like almost all gone, except for... It was like was four just, left. There's, yeah. And um, I'm like, I look at the front and I, and the board had been knocked over and apparently Maggie liked to go over and she would like swat at it because I saw her doing that and then she would like to see the little babies kind of flutter away kind of like a game so that's what she was doing and then I guess when that happened the little babies came out and were running around the barn and we have cats in the barn and they had their they had fun chicken with nuggets. Them. Yes, we had right. cat food, expensive cat food. Yes. So I was a little devastated, but you know, life goes on, and so we went ahead and we ordered a few more, and so now we have some bigger ones, and now we have some little ones. So everything is good, and life, things happen. You just kind of roll with the punches, and you keep going, and you know, I, I learned a. Uh, you know, you can never be too sure or too safe when you're doing these things. And just to make sure, I should have went ahead and I was going to do it later. Put my, you know, chicken wire on the front. And, you know, I thought it was good because it was wedged in there. I couldn't even move with my finger. But when you have a dog who wants to play and hit, she knocked it over. And so I learned a great big lesson. And she didn't eat any of them. It was the cats. When I came in after she yelled, I ran up there. And one of the cats, smaller type kidney kind, uh, had one in his mouth. So, I mean, we know that the, the cats ate them all. Maggie, she likes to, even with the kittens, she'll take them and slobber all over them and love them and take them here and there. And then, but she'll never kill them or eat them. She just loves them and thinks they're cute. So that's the puppy in her and that's what happened. So we got all freaked out and then we didn't know, should we tell them, should we tell them? <laughs> <laughs> and we thought, man, just tell them. Cause these are some of the things that you guys will be going uh, through on your homestead. You'll think everything's fine. Because we don't those have a problem. Thing, they, can, they can crawl, those little bitty chicks, when they're little like that, they can crawl through teeny little holes. Yeah. Like, I mean, Dude, they teeny. look really fluffy and big, but really, if you just get through their feathers, they're just like these no, little I mean, bitty things. No, I mean, you teeny holes, so yeah. you have to make sure that all that is good. Yeah, so the heat lamp's not a problem, but it was the puppy. <laughs> so that caused us a little bit of problem. So we're doing a weigh-in right now on the bigger birds, the four that made it um, through all that kind of stuff. 
and we're a little over two pounds right now it's been three weeks i think this is the third week and the other ones just got here last week right thursday yeah thursday thursday last week yep uh yeah that's right yeah. thursday last week this is real time video you guys are seeing this video uh we're a little bit behind so we're, we're releasing this video late to you guys on friday but you're going to get it today and last thursday is when we got the next batch of fryers and so they're already growing and doing good we actually took them out of the barn and put them in the a-frame chicken coop they're doing great in there and they huddle all together it's kind of maybe an advantage too with the bigger ones in there because they provide more heat and they all get together just like there was like a hen but you know it's crazy and kind of cold and we have some big yeah. temperature temperature fluctuations we woke up this morning was 47 degrees yeah and uh it's amazing amazing when they all kind of go together and they get so warm yeah, I mean, you just, go in to pick them up and they're boiling and yeah. i can't even believe it and so they keep themselves warm they do fine they huddle together just like they would in nature with the hen and like i said with the other two being a little bit bigger uh they're providing a little more heat everyone's getting along really good in the coop doing fine so we just wanted to give you guys an update on this they, I, I think um they put on weight. I mean, they might be a little bit slower than the Cornish, but they put on weight pretty quick as well. So um, a lot of people will say that one of their complaints um, as far as marketing the birds is that they might take a little longer, a little more expensive to feed out. Um, but I, it's so small. And, and I was talking to one of the Amish men who raises a lot of the Cornish crosses, and he was telling me- it Thousands. Was, yeah, he does a lot of them. And I was saying how, you know, we've been doing these um, Freedom Rangers for the past few years now and he said that the one good thing about them is they're a lot more tolerant when you have the fluctuations from being warmer during the day and cooler at night you know and um, he says they're a lot more tolerant and they're a better bird when it comes to that and i was like oh well, good yeah, he <laughs> raised yeah. thousands yeah. of birds i mean yeah. he has a big operation with birds they actually built a whole house almost i think it's bigger than our cabin uh to put the birds in because they have so many and they have a a wood stove in there and again no heat lamp just a wood stove and they raise thousands of birds so he might even switch over from the Cornish Cross uh, to the Freedom Rangers uh, because he's been looking at them and and looking at their traits and he's leaning that way so that's you know another thing just for you to think about we don't care what kind of birds you get we yeah, have no affiliation to, to the birds right so but he was talking about a lot of them getting like respiratory right kind of things happening to them when you have that temperature fluctuation right so. right so but our birds have been are thriving they're getting along great they're in their little coop so this is our this is our weekly we're going to try to do them weekly maybe once every two weeks but we're going to keep you guys updated on the birds and then uh, just kind of show you their progression in case you're interested in getting these type of birds for your homestead. So there's your chicken update for today. We, more things are coming on. I'm going to put the water line in on the root cellar coming up. So stay tuned for that. Um, that's right around the corner. It's really weird now. We have more dirt here. It's really raised yeah, up this side. Yeah, it's like, the, whole, it's like the, the ground is rising. Yeah. It's crazy. Everything's so close. Before I was so, so used to looking at this big hole, I right. could fall in and now it's right there. Right. And, the, and like I said, dirt keeps rising up. So we're going to have to adjust those stairs on that side, I'm afraid too so um just stuff going on in the homestead but and now, you know what if you guys have a funny story that has happened to you on your homestead yeah with your we chickens would love to hear it yeah so leave it in the comment, comment section below <laughs> let's say the last year tell us something that happened at your chicken uh outfit on your homestead or your place where you're living um and share your chicken stories with us so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the update. Uh, we'll keep you informed. We have a turkey story too, but we're still trying to figure out if we're going to tell you that <laughs> story. <laughs> uh, if you want to know the turkey story, leave it down below. We'll tell you the turkey story too. But So here's your update. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was kind of fun and uh, just showing you the progress of the birds. We'll see you guys on the next video. See you later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead Homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.